today's review is actually going to take a little bit of a departure from what we've been doing recently. I've been looking at a lot of hardware, I've been looking at uh, tripods, ball heads, all that kind of thing. Today we're going to switch around and we're going to go to a messenger bag. I reached out to Ona Bags. Uh, I've I haven't done a video review of it yet, but I did a written review on improvephotography.com for a Think Tank Signature Series 13-inch bag, which I was absolutely, completely in love with. Um, oh, I should revise that. I am completely in love with that bag. It's, it's absolutely amazing. The one thing that it doesn't do is handle a 15-inch MacBook Pro. Um, it is a 13-inch messenger bag, meaning that you can get a 13-inch laptop in there, and that's it. I use a 15-inch MacBook, uh, and I'm getting ready to do this huge summer trip. I thought it would probably be helpful if I could compress my uh, my gear into one bag instead of two and get a bag that would have the camera and the, the computer in it. So I reached out to Ona. They have an absolutely beautiful website, and, they, and they're a phenomenal maker of bags. Um, my my gut impression, I mean, this definitely serves the, the, the need that I have for a 15-inch MacBook Pro. Um, but the price point is virtually identical to the Think Tank bag. If I were between the two and it wasn't about having that 15-inch, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the folks over at Ona, but the Think Tank would win every single day of the week. Um, the reasons why. First of all... Um, uh, and this is maybe a silly little thing, but this hinge right here is just a, a straight up hinge. On the Think Tank, it's a swivel so that your um, your strap isn't always getting uh, twisted around and gnarled and whatnot. And, and it just has a nice little um, hook and eye release here on the strap so that you can just clip it off and clip it back on, no problem. So if you want to take the strap off, uh, you can. This is permanently affixed and um, and just doesn't swivel. So I think that's a little design detail that's just... Um, I, I prefer the, the Think Tank system there. Um, this is a waxed canvas, which is um, a very sturdy material. I mean, you can tell this is pretty rugged. I would actually be more inclined to take this out hiking or, or out in a, a more rough and tumble situation. Um, the Think Tank bag is much more luxurious. It's more of a, a, a highly refined, um, just a gorgeous quality uh, across the board. Um, the front l flaps work the same way on both bags, actually. The, uh, um, the, there's a little uh, pass through here, and you just uh, clip in, and, and you just pretty straightforward. Um, when you open the bag, plenty of room in here. I mean, this is a pretty big bag. You've got your back uh, compartment here for your, for your laptop. There are four dividers inside the compartment that you can... Uh, Restructure it however you want for your camera and a few lenses because it's a couple of inches wider You actually can get a fair amount more gear in here um, I use a separate lens bag uh, the lens changer 3 um, If I wasn't using that uh, it, it Definitely you have more room in here. I, I do like that. That's a great thing um, In the front you have another I'm gonna be awkward here Maybe if I turn it on its side you have a um, couple of different pen pencil compartments, uh, probably like a cell phone holder, uh, some other little holder. There's a series, and I'm sure you can't even really see it in there, but there's four leather memory card holders actually uh, built right into the bag, which that's great. I think that's a really good design element. And then over on the back, you have the full width of the bag is an additional uh, pack... Uh, you know, little satchel area where you could probably get uh, get maps or or papers. You could have model releases back there, whatever you would happen to need. Um, one design element that is missing on here is a, a luggage rolling luggage pass through. On the Think Tank, you have the ability to just slide it down over your roller bars on a on a on a rolling piece of luggage. This does not have that. Um, another, and this is. I feel bad because this is not a bad bag. I don't want to sound like I'm trashing it. It's actually a great bag. Um, it's it's stunningly beautiful. It, it's really nice. Uh, it's just by comparison. That Think Tank is just so elite and so gorgeous. Um, and then you have um, on the back, the, the handle is actually positioned on the back of the bag so that if you're carrying it by the handle, it's always going to flop in a kind of a... Uh, a, a 
a tilted, angled kind of way. You can see how it's hanging down. Uh, one other little detail, well, it's not a little one actually for me, it's kind of a fairly substantial one, is in the Think Tank bag, there is a zipper uh, cover that covers this entire main cabin area. And once that's secured, there is no possible way that your camera or your lenses could fall out. Even if the bag tips forward or sideways or whatnot, everything is secured in there. With this bag, that's not the case. Um, just um, virtually identical to the Peak Design bag. Uh, I, in my written review, I, I made a reference to the fact that the Peak Design Everyday Messenger bag, that is a 15-inch bag also, um, but it does not uh, have that same cover thing, and I think there's a lot to be said for that extra security. So, um, the Ona bag, I think this is called the Union Street, that's their 15-inch bag. Um, overall, I, I, yeah, I definitely give it a, 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 a three and a half stars out of five. Um, it's, it's, it's a good bag, I just, it's not a great bag. And for, for $300 and sinking that much money into a bag, I think you're, you're probably going to want a great bag. Um, so I think if, uh, if they go back to their design table and kind of address a couple of those um, few things that I mentioned, they could certainly uh, up their game with this guy and, uh, and move forward. There is a really gorgeous version of this on their website. It's a leather version which looks incredibly elegant. I'm assuming that it's all exactly the same layout, so the strap thing would still be uh, uh, an issue for me, and the zipper cover, and the, and the luggage pass-through. Um, so there, there are still some things, but, but the leather would certainly make it very, uh, uh, you know, swanky and elegant and, and put you into a different uh, uh, category, I think, in terms of, like, the... The, the chicness of it. So that is the Ona bag and I hope to see you soon.